Just like hold the brake, you said? Yeah. Um, gas all the way to the floor. All right. As hard as you can. And just drop the brake. Oh, shit! <laughs> going on guys welcome back to tf garage my name is tyler and today i have a golf r review in store for you right now i'm in the kroger's parking lot waiting to meet up with uh, bryce and his golf r and then we'll go from there god my hair is so tall all right so i met up with bryce we're headed to the spot right now i actually forgot my gopros at home so i'm gonna stop by there real quick and then we're gonna start the review and you can kind of see him in my rearview mirror right there, or in my uh, back windshield. God, that thing is so clean and sick. I can't wait for this. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, what year is this golf? 2017. 2017, it's a Golf R. Yep. Uh, what all do you have done, mainly aesthetic-wise? Um, the dip, that was supposed to be just like a winter protection thing, but I didn't really keep it because it turns heads. Uh, other than that, nothing really. I mean, like wing and spoiler and exhaust and stuff, but like the vents are functional. It's not lowered. Mud flaps. Rain guard. Right. So, what do you have done all performance-wise? Uh, it's a DFG intake, stock inverter valve, uh, three-inch catless USP downpipe, and then custom exhaust, which is just just a resonator. Okay. And then. I painted that myself. The vents are from Beerus Engineering in Indianapolis. I was like their test car for these hood louvers, which they work ex extremely well. You can see the heat coming out when you're driving and all that, but there's no upgraded intercooler or something, anything. This, uh, one of these goes to the radiator and one of these is another intercooler for the DSG. Okay. But other than that, APR stage two, 2.6 update with the DSG tune. All right guys, so he also has all these decals on the engine here, if you can see that hole at your V8, and then all these up here with the social and everything he's done to it. Now, in total, I'd say that adds at least 1,700 horsepower. Don't forget this one. Oh yeah, yeah, you gotta get the snap badge in there. Add him on Snapchat. Oh, he also has the carbon fiber over the headlights, makes it a little bit more aggressive, even though this car is already aggressive at it, as it is along with the carbon fiber there and on the badging he's got the roof and carbon fiber and along with the wing i believe or no, no. The wing is just, no it's just like black abs plastic okay so on the side it's stock suspension correct yeah and then it's the dcc which is like the dynamic chassis control which is like it just i have a little button in there that just pretty much adjusts dampening and like transmission settings and stuff like okay that. and then tell me about the wheels what are those to be honest, I don't know, I just got them, they're just <laughs> winter wheels, but they're pretty light, they're like, I think without tires, they're like 18 pounds a wheel or something like Jeez, that. Jeez, like not bad at all. Yeah, um, that's why I got them. Are those stock brake calipers? Yep, stock everything, stock brakes, stock suspension. I didn't know it came with the little ARIP logo on them. Yeah. On them. That's pretty cool. Yeah, the uh, sixes do too. See right there, guys. All right, so. Also aesthetic wise, he's got the mud flaps, make it even more rally spec and adds at least 700 horsepower each. 750. 750, sorry, sorry guys. And then uh, tell us about your exhaust. The exhaust, literally eBay tips, they're like a hundred bucks. Sean Gamble did my exhaust, it's been Gambleized, it's just a resonator. Okay. No pads, no muffler, no nothing. Ooh. The stock valves I just cut off and just take the wires up. But gotcha. The Maxton splitter. I think it makes it look a lot fatter. I don't know. Yeah, know. yeah, it does. And then I have like the like the urban joke tail lights. Ooh. And then like the the camera and stuff comes out of this little this little hole in here. Oh, I ripped my dip off. <laughs> you wanna turn on your uh, blinker real quick? Show them all that you have done. Yeah, so you got it vag combed, right? That's yeah, well, it's, yeah. OBD 11 is, it's just like a little, like, phone app. You just plug your Bluetooth into it and it's coded. Gotcha. And I did my lights, I did, like, the, like, comfort turn signals. I did my uh, diff, I did my headlights stay on, like, my turn signals stay on until, like, I use them. 
There's a bunch of little stuff, like the whole Windows thing, like rain sensors, cameras, like there's so much you can do with it. All right, so he has the rear seat delete, which you said took away about 70 pounds? Yeah, I'd say about there. It's oh. just mainly the backs, like the bench part's just foam, but the backs are the heaviest part. Okay. And it feels like a whole new tune with the front seats are like 28 pounds a piece or something like that. It's nothing mm -hmm. like Talk about the stock heavy. ones? No, these are. Oh, these are. The okay. stock ones are like 70 pounds a piece. Oh, jeez. After all that, everything taken out, it's like a whole new car. It's like a whole new tune. It's. I bet. It's crazy. It's weird. Up front, we got Sparco racing seats. Is there a reason why you chose these exact ones or anything? My buddy was selling them. Fair enough. Cheap <laughs> and used. Uh, and then, all right, did they come with the... Yeah, it came with harnesses. I got a harness bar to put in. Okay. Um, all right, guys, so we're inside the Golf R 2017. That was horrible wearing art. All right, guys, so we're inside the 2017 Golf R. <laughs> There's so many retakes, dude. <laughs> it's so bad. Um, let's go ahead and start it up. He's actually letting me drive it. Woo! That's so fancy. Yeah. All right, so what were you telling me about race mode down here? So, like, this right now in race mode, this is orange. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know this until, like, oh, maybe, like, four days ago. But if I go to, like, normal mode, it turns white. So you know you're not in, like, harsh suspension, harsh transmission, harsh, <laughs> all that stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah, gotcha. All right, so this is probably... But then, oh, like, you can do, like, custom mode, and then you can adjust, like, you can adjust the dampening and all that, and steering and, uh, like, transmission settings and all that stuff. Right? You can adjust the steering? Yeah. So, like, it's you'll more... Be, you'll feel it heavier, lighter, or whatever oh, you want. Oh, shoot. Dang, this thing is fancy as hell. So this is normal just drive, right? Mm-hmm. And then it'll just shift like a normal car, all that stuff, like a normal automatic, but if you put it in S... You can hear the bat, like the exhaust get louder, it revs mm -hmm. higher, the transmission shifts faster, it's okay. just more go, 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 and it'll downshift like hard, like you'll feel it, vroom, vroom, like it's ready to go. And then over here, if you push it over, you can either do this and shift through the gears mm -hmm. or pedal, but it will not shift unless you hit this. Okay. So it will redline and blow up the engine or whatever, <laughs> but it will not shift. I think it'll shift if you don't have it tuned, but I think if you're tuned, it will not shift. Okay. I don't know if that's true. I could be wrong. I don't okay. know. I like that though, because like any new car that I've gotten in has one of these or like a paddle shifter, mm -hmm. it shifts for you even when you're trying to like shift through it. I'm like, no, I didn't want right. to shift yet. And there's like the, the parking brake and like, you can hear all that. But then like that is like, if we're at a light, you can just push the brake to the floor and leave it. And then it won't, we won't roll anywhere. Oh, really? It's just like a, yeah. Okay. I was going to say, because like one of the things that I, uh, kind of am spoiled with driving manual if the like where i'm parked is flat mm -hmm. i can just rest off everything right. and sit there but where That's i'm gas i'm holding the brake the whole time does this come with like adaptive cruise yeah, control? yeah. Oh, shoot. speeds okay. up and slows down and like there's like a little cameras in here that'll keep you in the lines and oh, all that cool. stuff so it's a tesla that's what <laughs> yeah pretty much i don't know if you guys can hear the exhaust drone in the back there but it sounds mean and when we start driving it's going to sound even meaner uh you said you took it to the drag strip one time yeah, it was just stage one. Maybe it had an intake. I can't remember if it had an intake. It was stock wheel, stock suspension. It didn't even have tint. But it was just APR stage one that ran a 12.0. And I can't remember what my trap speed was. I'd have to look. It was like 114 or something like that. Oh, shit. I can't remember. I'd have to look. Okay. But it should do 11s. 11s, all right. And APR says it'll do 3.2 to 60. Oh, it is. But I've been consistently like 3.2. Uh, okay. I was in the car when he launched it uh, a couple, probably like a week ago or two weeks now, maybe. Yeah, maybe something, something like that. Something like that. Yeah, and this thing was like hopping lanes, it, and it just took off. <laughs> it was insane. Like you just time travel when he launches it. <laughs> no, obviously I want to do that, but I'm not going to because you I, can. I don't I, care. Oh my! Yes! 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 I got, okay. The other day I launched this at every light from Menards to the expressway on Airport Highway. Oh. <laughs> we can try it now if you want. We'll put it in race. So for launch control, you have to have it in race. Mm -hmm. You have to have traction. You can have just in sport or you can turn it all the way off. Okay. But then you have to have it in sport. And so like, we might have to roll a little bit just to like get it moving. But then if you hold your foot, left foot as hard as you can on the brake, and then right foot on the gas, it should start launch control. You'll see it. And I'm going to... 
uh, floor it. Floor it? Yes. No! No! Don't floor it! Floor it? No! No, no! Don't floor it! Okay, floor it! See it down there? I just don't let it off the brake. So you want me going to the river, right? Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> so I need a bath. <laughs> okay, I definitely need a golf bar in 20 years. <laughs> people, people give me crap because it's like, oh, you drive an automatic, but like, it doesn't shift unless you tell it. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it is less engaging. It's less, you're not as one with the car. I don't know how to explain it, but yeah. I think it still is fun. Yeah. If I would have gotten any other car, like I looked at the Focus RS before this, that only comes in a, st a stick. So, like, I would have had to get a stick. But, like, my GTI before this was a six-speed. But any other car other than this would have been a stick. Yeah. But yeah. I couldn't pass up the DSG. It's just, it's a whole second faster 60 than the yeah. six-speed was. So. <laughs> I almost put my left foot on the brake Dude, as a clutch. The first time I drove it, like you know, normally when you push the clutch and it's not just like a tab, it's just like to yeah. the floor or nothing. And like <laughs> we the first time I test drove this, we were like at a light and I just fucking yeah. mashed the left <laughs> brake and I was like, me and my girlfriend at the time we were sitting there and I was like Ugh! and like it was bad. This thing just like when you're sitting in it and like even just rolling in it, you're like, oh my god, this is gonna kill me. <laughs> Oh, that's way worse than last year. <laughs> but it's fun at the same time. Yeah, that's the same. Oh my, okay. <laughs> Just like the overall experience. I don't want to hit that too hard. The overall experience, like for my car, because I guess I'm just used to it, and with the exhaust like in the background, even just barely pressing the gas, it feels like I'm just flying and I'm in a race car. <laughs> Oh my god. This is. And you hear the turbo. Oh my Those god. Those vents help a lot. Oh. Did it come with like the uh, noise canceling, like foam or whatever? It did. I took all that yeah. out. I took that off of mine and you can just barely hear the turbo, but not as much as that. You have an intake? Uh, you don't no. have an intake, right? No. Dude, no. Like, only intake I can is hear it. <laughs> the first thing I buy for any of my cars is an intake. As childish as it is, like, nothing beats that noise like yeah. supercharger turbo like nothing yeah. gets me harder <laughs> 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 and especially with that uh, parking brake being down there, mm -hmm. I went to turn off like auto hold one day, just like cruising. Like, I don't know why I was just thinking about it. Like, hmm, I'm going to turn that off. And I pulled the parking brake at like 40 miles an hour and this car just fucking stopped. <laughs> it was, it was awful. I felt so bad. Oh God. I'm, I wouldn't, I'm surprised they didn't make it so like while you're moving you can't I think it. like after 60 it deactivates or something, but like, okay. I don't know, maybe that's just a rumor. I'm not going to try it. Yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't try it. Is that the turbo? There's like the I can't even make it like the like turp. the chirp. Yeah. yeah. See, we're in comfort now. Now we're going to race. And if you're not in S, it doesn't pop. Oh. So like, like as long as you're in sport, it pops. But if you put it back in the drive, it doesn't pop or a downshift. Or it's just like normal. Okay. But yeah, like uh. That's what, so what were you saying? Huh? What were you saying? The uh before I interrupted you. to go. <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm just barely pressing the pedal, and I'm like, okay, that's fast, and I push it a little bit more, and I'm like, oh my god, okay, <laughs> and a little bit more, just okay. <laughs> like there's there's so much power just at your fingertips. Or at Dude, your even at like a hundred miles an hour, like I was on 75 the other day, and this Mustang, this V6 one from Mustang, thought he was all cool, passing everyone, and so like <laughs> I passed him at like 120, and it was still like pulling. Like, yeah, I was like, wow, like this little car is impressive. Just the wow factor of this car. Like, I always tell myself I'm probably never gonna get an automatic again because mm -hmm. the manual is just like that's exactly what I sell so hard. But then this car, you get in it, and you're just like, huh? <laughs> so, so aggressive. See, there you go. Oh my god. Now, if you floor it, mm -hmm. it'll do 35. But try it again, but floor it past flooring it. You'll feel like a little like overdrive, like. It's called like kick down. So if I'm like cruising in like S5, like sport gear, and I just mash the pedal past like that little button, mm -hmm. it shifts to the lowest possible gear it can just to get ready to go. It's like, it's, I don't know how to explain it. There's, you'll feel it. Feel it. Uh, what are you talking about then? That like little, uh, so like floor it now, but not hard. And then just press it down harder. Now press it harder than that. Oh, but yeah, yeah okay, that little gotcha. like extra space that does it at four grand. If you just floor it, it's thirty five hundred. If you just like hold the gas, I think it's three thousand. Okay. It's just three. You can set those when you get like when I went stage two. They asked me, okay, what RPMs do you want your launch control for? Like four grand, whatever. <laughs> okay. so like, hold the brake. Seven. Yeah, um, gas all the way to the floor. All right, as hard as you can. These weight law directions are downloaded. Proceed to the highlighted route. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Sure you want to do this? Five. A lot has changed. Four. You're right. Three. Two. One. Go. And just drop the brake. Oh shit! <laughs> oh my god! It changes the car. Changes completely. the car, and then no one expects it. And also, just kind of a random side note, guys. If you see this review mirror here, it's like almost infinite. Like I don't know how to describe it. It's just edge to edge, whereas mine has this like uh, little plastic part around it. And I think that's just kind of a cool little feature that no one ever really sees. But like before, he was so low that he. Yeah. 
Well, that was my dilemma too. Yeah. Like, I went in to have my uh, hood latch replaced because, like, I wasn't gonna mess around with polymer wires, uh -huh. and I'm lazy. So, like, I went to the dealership. I'm like, how much just to put a new like hood wire in and all that stuff? And this was sitting in the showroom, and I'm like, well, since they're looking at that, like, might as well just go test drive this car. Uh, what were you just talking about? Huh? What were you just talking about? I just got sidetracked. Uh, oh yeah, okay, so I went in to test drive it, <laughs> test drove it, I probably put like 10 miles on it, and then like worked out all the paperwork, and that day I bought it, <laughs> that next week I was driving this car, I was like, I should have not gone in there to get my thing fixed, yeah. I should have just done it myself. Yeah, but, like, it's, it's so bad. Guys, if you're thinking about getting a Golf R, but you know you can't really pay for it right now, don't go and test drive it, <laughs> because you're going to buy it, and you're going to go broke. Okay, so stock, what's the like power ratio between front and back? I think it's 60-40, but I think it, if it needs to, it can put 50-50. Alright guys, so I think that's where we're going to end the video for today. Um, I was planning on doing another day of recording just for some nighttime shots, but Bryce actually sent me over um, a bunch of videos and pictures that I can put in for the driving montage in the end and I'm just gonna go ahead and put those in right now.